Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm here in uh, Plovdiv, Bulgaria and I'm at the Singing Park, well, but it, well, it's a singing fountain, but I don't know if they call it the Singing Park, but I think it connects all the way through if I follow it long enough that it'll connect to um, the main walkway, whatever that was called. But uh, So I thought I'd do the park, so let's go ahead and I'm going to call it Singing Park and let's go do it. You, you might as well see what it's like. Um, and so I asked a police officer um, if the show was going to happen tomorrow night at 8.30, and he said yes. But then I asked the lady in this restaurant over here, um, Mata Combo, whatever that restaurant's called. Hang on a second, I can tell you exactly. Um, Morado Bar and Diner. And she said sometimes not on Thursdays. And so I don't know, um, you know, if it's worth... Uh, adventuring all the way over here for but uh you know if the, they say it's supposed to be pretty good the police officer was really excited about it and so uh um anyway so this is just one of the parks in bulgaria and it uh, it looks really amazing and it's really pretty clean lots of trash cans lots of benches um but they the show i guess is supposed to be pretty spectacular so uh, you know i don't know if it's gonna you know be like world changing or anything but uh who knows i you know i i have no idea you know so far we've learned a lot um bulgaria has the longest uh, pedestrian walkway in all of europe which i thought was fantastic 1.8 kilometers long and this fountain area looks pretty crazy and they've got music and speakers and lights and and it's certainly an active active place and it looks like they're cleaning it I like the hole in the middle where all the water drains too and it looks like the kids play in the fountains it's really a cute little park <laughs> but I think this might be the park where I um, landed that drone from that flight down that main walkway street but I'm going to find out here I'm going to turn right and we'll just walk that whole way it's really gorgeous isn't it it's a really pretty little park and everything else. Now I'm going to cover my speakers and keep talking so that he can't hear the, or so that the YouTube doesn't pick up that music so that it doesn't try to charge me $100 for playing that music that's copyrighted, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to go this way just because it has flowers. But, uh, yeah, it's really a gorgeous park. They really do take care of their their stuff and it really looks like a kids park it looks like it has lots of little playgrounds for kids hmm. amazing So I think I've pretty much exhausted Plovdiv. I think I've seen lots and lots and lots and lots of Plovdiv already and uh, recorded just about most things. I'm sure that I'll leave and find out three other things that I missed, but uh, what a wonderful park for kids. Huh, what's up here? Yeah, it looks like they have a lot of kids' activities. Because over here, like, they, they're kicking a... Is it, no, they're throwing a Frisbee back and forth to each other. Oh, and she's teaching them how to throw the Frisbee. <laughs> yeah, that ain't it.
Yeah, this is amazing. Here's a funny one for you. I saw a teacher escorting like 20 kids through here too. And when they first got to the park, <laughs> she collected all their cell phones. So anybody that had a cell phone had to put it in the box. I thought that was absolutely amazing. Um, we need kids to put down their cell phones and and play and not uh, not be texting one another. So I think that's pretty pretty cool. Here's a big fountain in the middle. Yep, that's where it dumps out at. Yes. Okay. So I was just over here on this side um, yesterday, and here's a big fountain. But I want to go this way. They've got lots of little things here. Signs. Are any of them in English? Not a one on this side. Let's see. Sometimes they kind of trick you. Nope. Nothing on this side either. Okay. Nothing in English. I'll try to find out the real name of this park so that I label it correctly. But, you know, if I, if I don't say it in the video exactly... Just look in the description because I usually try to track it down so that it might at least my description is accurate. Although somebody pointed out the other day that uh, I had a castle wrong in uh, Italy, so I I had to go fix that. The problem was it was a a rich couple, king and queen, and they had like six or seven castles. So anyway, well, very cool, everybody. All right, so I'm just gonna call this uh, Singing Park, because it has the singing fountain on one end, but it does have these Roman ruins, geez. Yeah, amazing. Very cool, everybody. Okay. The Singing Park Baby. <laughs> Bye.